So the day starts with the supervisors and myself meeting in the office. Smile, Charlie. Um, kind of talking about what barns need to be moved in the morning, where our muck runs are for the for the morning. 32 through 49 and then 1 through 8. After the supervisors and, and I talk, we'll come out to the lounge. We'll tell the guys where their muck runs are. Um, we'll go down to the tool room, get the pitchforks and rakes for them. You know, when you have three to four, you know, even 5,000 horses in the sales, there's always, you know, anywhere from two to five barns, maybe six barns that we had to find places for so the next uh, consigners can move in. There's certain barns that we have to move in the morning. I, I go through each barn and get the number of horses. Oh, 22. And their horses get moved to where the holdover barns are, to where Charlie's at. We well, got 59 head. Andrew, when he gives me a number of horses on the line of barns that we're in, I find that many stalls to move those horses in. We water and feed them. Uh, till the van companies come in and uh, move the horses out. John, go all the way down the other end. Stall 17 down there. Okay. After they move the horses, we keep up with the stalls that needs to be thrown out. We let the bobcats know when to come in and push all of it out. That way it's good and clean for the next people to move in, bed down, and start all over. We haul out, depending on how many barns we have, it can be anywhere from 40 to 60 loads that are going over to the muck plant. It's a well-oiled machine that it takes everybody to get it done. You've got great supervisors, laborers, equipment operators, truck drivers, everybody works well together. Basically, family outside of family. It's kind of everybody knows, you know, from the years of doing it, who does what, and we just kind of all work together and keep it going. Like the last few days, you know, it's been kind of chilly, but, you know, you just throw on your coveralls and go on. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else, and I know the guys that we work with wouldn't want to be anywhere else.